This project is a 12.5 km metro line from the center of Hanoi at the train station to the west part of the city. It's a project funded by French government, AFD, ASEAN Development Bank, and European Investment Bank. Colas Rail is the main contractor. We have three contracts on this project. For Colas Rail in general, it's really important because it's the first project in Asia. Hanoi has around the 18 million of people, but at the same time, have no more than 5 million of motorbikes, more than 3 million of cars. So the pollution, the traffic is awful here. Reducing the pollution and the emissions is very important. In terms of economy, it will lower the logistic costs and why it is important in Germany and Vietnam, because Vietnam, in order to sustain the development, they need more infrastructure on railway and metro infrastructure. Uh, Vietnam has been growing quickly in the last 10 years, but they cannot show that's growing in terms of infrastructure. So this project, this metro, can help to the people in terms of the mobility to move easily, cheaper and quickly, of course. With the new technology by Metro Railway Light, helping poor people to have access to transport, the lifestyle of public in Vietnam will change to better. This project is special because it's part of a master plan with eight metro lines. It is the pilot line, so the government and the authority are testing in Hanoi the first line. It's really important to be successful here, to move to another line in the future. It's not a big project in terms of track work, it's because it's only 12 kilometers, but it's a biggest project in terms of an electromechanical system, because there are 12 stations. ECS system, uh, Scalatron elevator, and all firefighting systems. So it's a lot for Colas. Colas Rail is innovating. We are testing Holobing system, which is using virtual reality. That is uh, really helpful because you don't only no need to wait in your office to check the drawing, check the, your design. You can go to site and look in 3D hologram, uh, if the, your pipes, if your system are okay, with another system at the same time. It's the second place of the world we are applying this innovation. The idea of the holobeam is to check that the design on what has been built on site, there is no clashes. It's a challenging project on many aspects. The main one is regarding safety. We are more trying to bring people on board and to show them the good practice we are applying everywhere elsewhere in the world, such as France or UK, and trying to apply it in Vietnam. Now we are working in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam. But the, of the three countries, I think Vietnam, is the, in terms of culture, in terms of, of adaptation, it has been the big challenger until now. Metro is different. That is the big part. Try to explain to the people how work Metro project. It's totally different than they are used to do in the past. I'm going to teach to them and they have to learn with us how to do this job properly. As it's the first Metro line, is it very important for Vietnam and also for France to show the know-how in terms of railway and Metro system. The first phase of the project will be due in 2021 with the opening to the public of the elevated parts on the overall line, including the tunnel, will be finished by 2024. We are in the installation phase. Everything is going very well, and I'm very confident that this project will be a success.